Assalamu alaikum. Good morning to all. I am Dr. Sayyid Mohammed, Professor, Department of Computer Engineering, BSA Crescent Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. First, I would like to thank the selection committee members of Emerging Scientist 2022, the Asian Council of Science Editor and Academic of Excellence in the Bioscience Association. My abstract entitled Cellular Automata Multimodal Simulation Spread for Tsunami Wave. Plan of presentation, introduction, common assumption for tsunami wave propagation, 2D cellular automata model with algorithm, interactive multi resolution 2D cellular automata model, contribution, result, conclusion, and future work. An introduction part as we know that the different stage of the tsunami we have, generation, propagation, and random. As compared to this, our regular wind generator wave, the tsunami wave is this, the wave length is high. Similarly, for the speed is also high, and this the tsunami only the few centimeter in this open ocean can produce the wave that are many meter in high and this so. In this modeling, we have considered three stages. First one for this so earthquake inside the sea is greater than 100 kilometers, considered as the local tsunami, and 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, the second tsunami, and less than 50 kilometers, considered as the big tsunami or tele tsunami. As a research work for the propagation of tsunami wave, the aim of this research work to develop the propagation of tsunami wave using the multi-model of the cellular automata to find the rate of spread and earliest arrival time of the tsunami wave under the two type of this ocean condition or homogeneous and non-homogeneous version with the eight topological and the wave direction. So we have completed for this a different model, two-dimensional cellular automata model, hexagonal cellular automata model and interactive multi-resolution 2D cellular automata model and geometric model also. So overflow of the diagram tsunami wave propagation model based on this eight topological conditions it is include for the primary wave, secondary wave and homogeneous and horizontal and vertical wave motion. So these combinations we have considered as this the homogeneous model and non-homogeneous model. In the homogeneous model horizontal wave motion and primary wave spread and horizontal wave motion and secondary wave spread, vertical wave motion and primary wave spread vertical wave motion, secondary wave spread. So like that in our non homogeneous also we have this the same type of this condition, horizontal wave motion and primary wave spread, horizontal wave motion and secondary wave spread, vertical wave motion and primary wave spread, vertical wave motion and secondary wave spread. The proposed model cellular automata is uh, one of the important and the famous model is available in this our mathematical modeling. A uh, lot of this application also involved are fire, forest fire and the traffic signal processing and uh, that is image processing and etc. So cellular automata is a collection of cell and the grid are the specific shape that evolved through the number of the time step according to the set of the rules. So the neighborhood are the important as a mechanism for controlling the executions of the cellular automata. Similarly, the neighborhood determine the extent of the interaction between the cell in the grid. So in the example, we have represent this three model. First one, Moore's neighborhood and hexagonal cellular automata model and the multi-resolution tile quad tree. In the coming slide, I am going to present for the Moore neighborhood and Exxon multi-resolution tile quadrant. The two-dimensional cellular automata model for propagation of tsunami wave. The model introduces the fact of the propagation from the diagonal and adjacent neighbor cell, include the detailed form rate of wave spread. Further, the model is useful for the both homogeneous and non-homogeneous version environment also. So the primary simulation result demonstrating the proposed scheme are presented. So we have the basic concept of the 2D cellular automata and algorithm description, homogeneous and homogeneous spread calculation and the testing of the proposed model, variations of the model and result including for the homogeneous and non-homogeneous with the graph. So the five element are involved for the cellular automata. The two dimensional finite cellular automata can be defined as the four applet where C is the cellular space formed with the two dimensional array R into C cell. First is the cell, the identical cell cellular space that is equal space we have, the 2D you have the square cell, equal space also we have. Uh, second one, the state, the attribute of the system, the finite or infinite, either the cell can be the one state. And the neighborhood is the nine cell we have. So each include the cell define this more neighborhood that is for the northwest, northeast, southeast and southwest and directions. And V is the order of the finite subset. And next is the, the transition rule. F, the local transition function, the state of the one cell changes the response to its current state. 
and uh, finally the fifth element that is for the time the time is based on this which our uh, model is are using that is the time concept here the two dimensional we are using that is the two dimensional cellular automata so two cellular uh, 2d cellular automata model for the propagation of tsunami wave as uh, the concept involved for the first the adjacent cell get propagated next the diagonal cell get propagated so the spread is the by circular and practical the consider 0 comma 0 is the center cell so the adjacent cell we have that is for the minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 1 so the diagonal cell we have that is minus 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 1 comma minus 1 minus 1 comma minus 1 so like that this is the this, uh, the, uh, the fashion is involved for the 2d cellular automata model and we have this a discrete time step using the uh, formula and algorithm we, that is the representation that is l is the here the uh, the length of this uh, particular uh, cell and r is the, the radius here is the uh, r of that is uh, r is the uh, rate of spread and r is the uh, here r of i comma j is the, the rate of spread is current cell so we have the right hand side also we have represent for the symbol and legend so zero is uh, considered as i comma j is the current cell and a of i comma j is the state of cell and a i comma j plus one is the state of neighbor cell and r is the spread and similarly for the r i comma j rate of spread current cell and similarly for the rate of spread adjacent the diagonal cell and the wave speed and height of the cell and the height depth of the versions also include in this our calculation and we have to consider for the homogeneous wave matrix and the wave matrix also consider in this our homogeneous the homogeneous means the source to destination without any disturbance the uh, tsunami waves is traveling from the source to destination uh, so without any uh, rock or island or any disturbance are considered as the homogeneous version similarly the rate of spread calculation also we, is represent for the uh, formula and algorithm also involved for the non homogeneous version rate spread uh, transition functions also so in this some disturbance like our uh, sumatra to the india in the sri lanka and other is the one of these uh, disturbance also we have so that type of the calculation considers the non homogeneous spread and uh, uh, so far what you have completed the same one we have implemented in this simulation model using the software the java we have created that is tsunami wave propagation cellular automata and geometrical model so far we have created uh, four model uh, 2d cellular automata model and hexagonal cellular automata model and indian version tsunami propagation model and a hygiene tsunami version model and finally multi resolution cellular automata model, model in this uh, different parameter uh, particularly i want to mention here the rector scale value maximum depth of the water version and the wave speed and uh, etc and apart from that we have this uh, different uh, topology condition the first condition for example homogeneous horizontal wave and a primary wave spread so the output like that we have this the color indications of the 2d cellular automatic result with eight topology conditions we have this different type of the colors and different type of the shape also we will get based on this our uh, topology condition and based on this is parameter input so the indications of this our color first is the blue is the ocean area and red is the current traverse cell and dark blue is the traverse and transverse or white tsunami and the black is the traverse the cell and the silver is the traverse on this local tsunami and the brown is the traverse on this side so the we have we got the output for the homogeneous version test output based on the time the, the time t uh, the initial condition 10 minutes uh, we got this one output similarly for the 20 minutes 30 minutes and 60 minutes for the different uh, homo, homogeneous version test output first one is homogeneous version horizontal wave motion with the primary wave front and direction Similarly, for this, the last one, homogeneous version, vertical wave motion with the secondary wave front in the north direction. A non-homogeneous version, the output, similarly, we got this a different shape and the different color combination also, we got it. Based on this, our input, based on this, non-homogeneous and homogeneous with the top of eight topological conditions. So, the graph representation for the result of the two-dimensional square cellular automata, we have this uh, three stages uh, uh, that is represent here rate of spread homogeneous version here the rate of spread is uh, in this uh, homogeneous version is constant because there is no any disturbance that's why this line is constant and the rate of spread at the time similarly for the number of cell travels homogeneous version means the number of the cell travels in the result of the two dimensional square model that is the output is we got is like this but in non-homogeneous version this uh, number of the cell travels two dimensional square cell non-homogeneous version we have the different shape also we got it so uh, similarly, we got this some other output also that is uh, based on this the depth of the ocean and the speed of the tsunami based on the Richter scale value, the rate of spread also we have calculated. This calculator value, uh, for example, starting from the depth of the ocean 500 to 1500 with a different scale value, uh, value from 6 to Richter value 9. 
the multi uh, and apart from that another model is a multi resolution 2d cellular automata spread model of the tsunami wave experimental framework uh, we uh, created for the framework and we have implemented using for the 2d tiled squared uh, tree ocean square in this uh, multi resolution cellular automata model uh, we have this the uh, implementation mechanism of resolution change in this we have this the tsunami wave spread the move during the simulation high resolution low resolution cell will be dynamically added and removed according to the positions of the tsunami wave spread. And we have the three major components involved in the resolution changes, changing of the resolution denoted as the gray cell area and a resolution cell view that display the cell grid during the simulation denoted as the red mark in the cell area. So here the output the experimental result also we got it that is for the cell far from the tsunami wave spread still maintain their low resolution. Meanwhile, the cells that are already traversed out uh, decrease the resolution by replacing the four high resolution cell with the one low resolution cell. So the homogeneous ocean horizontal wave condition is considered and the model must yield circular wave and spread in the initial condition. Homogeneous ocean vertical wave motion with the topic condition must be reflected in the dynamic wave spread since the mentioned earlier we have shown the higher rate of the spread. So this is the three stages. First one simulation using the all low resolution cell and second one using the uh, high resolution cell and finally the simulation dynamic resolution cell we have taken from this uh, result so the, so far the contribution in the cellular automata model we have this the uh, 2d cellular automata model and the multi resolution cellular automata model and apart from that we got this the estimated arrival time of indian ocean tsunami using this uh, two model and overall output with the different state like a uh, T, 15, 16, 120, 180, 190 and 300 minutes also we get this output. So based on this Indian version, uh, we got this some um, identify for the 10 places uh, in this based on this our, uh, our historical data like uh, National Geographic Data Center. Uh, we comparison the graph, uh, the what is uh, result we got it, that is the interactive cellular automata earliest arrival time is more or less equal to the actual time reached the tsunami at the time of 2014. So 2004 uh, tsunami, uh, 26th December 2004 tsunami. What we got this output? Same, uh, approximately the same output. Very accurate result we got it. Interactive cellular automata, ALS arrival time. And the each stage from Vaisak, Chennai, Tutukurin, Colombo, and uh, others uh, places also. So we got this uh, good result. So the conclusion: the algorithm seem to be very efficient and easily implemented in any computer system. Allowing the low computational time and cost, the model were tested with the historical real data to simulate tsunami wave propagation, the homogeneous, non homogeneous version, and satisfy the result were obtained. The estimate arrival time of the four models have been calculated and compared with the historical data. The result also in the graphic representation. The framework also we have the result, result and presented. The primary result so this developed the dynamic resolution to enable the high resolution simulation without creating the high resolution model in the homogeneous version area. So future work like we have this the another model based on this is GAE data, the developing algorithm to support for the efficient simulation of the large scale model for the multi-resolution hexagonal cellular automata. Thank you.